I'm TechSynth, this is the Asus Spin 713 and I'm about to review it right now. So the Asus Spin 713 I'm going to be talking about in today's video comes fitted with one of Intel's latest 11th gen Core i5 CPUs at its heart. This means that the Spin 713 can easily handle most things that you throw at it. As well as this, the 8GB of DDR4 RAM allows you to multitask with ease, having multiple applications running at the same time, whilst having a plethora of internet tabs running. You also get a 256GB SSD, which not only gives you a decent amount of storage for all your files and applications, but ensures that performance is lightning fast when booting up or opening anything saved on it. But in terms of value for money, is this really a good buy? Well, when looking at similarly priced laptops, it is clear that this Acer Chromebook is well placed among its competitors, which all seem to have the 10th gen processors instead of the newer 11th gen ones. In terms of looks, Acer have done an absolutely stupendous job. This laptop is sleek and well finished and with a premium metal body, the Chromebook Spin 713 has a reassuring solid feel in the hand. All of this would normally come at a price, that price being extra weight, but surprise Surprisingly, this Chromebook measures just 16.9mm thick and weighs 1.37kg. The 13.5 inch VertiView touchscreen has a range of features that elevate your viewing experience. The 3 to 2 aspect ratio gives you 18% more viewing height compared to conventional 16 to 9 screens, helping documents and web pages fit better, while the 2256 x 1506 Quad HD resolution ensures that everything on the screen is sharp and the IPS panel provides rich true to life colours and wide viewing angles. Alright, let's talk ports. So, on the left hand side you can expect to find two USB type C ports, a HDMI port and an audio jack and on the right hand side you can find a USB A port and a micro SD card slot. This is all you really need on a laptop like this and I'm super impressed with how Acer have managed to implement all this into a laptop as sleek and slim as this Chromebook. Even with such a powerful processor the Spin 713 manages to last up to 10 hours on a single charge meaning it can last an entire working day and still have some oomph left for a movie in the evening. You can let me know what movie you'll be watching in the comments. Now I would be lying if I said that this laptop doesn't come with an abundance of awesome features, so let me tell you what they are. The first one is the Fingerprint Scanner. A company that previously made a huge emphasis on this technology was Apple in 2016 when they introduced this same technology in their new MacBooks. This new way of unlocking our laptops saves time and is a really exciting feature to be added. Another feature seen in the MacBook that has also found itself in the Spin 713 is a single finger lift. It's the small things that make all the difference and simple things like not having to use two hands to open your laptop lid just makes for a more enjoyable experience. Furthermore, the hinge can fold 360 degrees, making it a convertible, which therefore allows it to be used as a tablet too. A backlit keyboard is the final cool feature I'll be talking about today, and although it is the last, that certainly doesn't mean it's least. I've always loved backlit keyboards on laptops because they just give it a premium edge, which is satisfying to type on and actually makes it easier to type on in dark spaces where key visibility is limited. So with all that said, what are my honest opinions on this laptop and who is it really meant for? Well, the thing is, is Chromebooks stereotypically have a bad name when it comes to performance and, well, most other things. But this is an absolute exception and I believe it is a fantastic laptop bearing in mind the price. It looks great, lasts the day and a bit more and is just a great all-rounder. But given the specs it has, the Chromebook is great for businesses to buy for their employees as it supports most of the compulsory applications. But please be aware that this laptop works better with cloud computing apps like Google Docs or Microsoft Teams rather than internal software. But if you're not a business and want a flexible laptop capable of carrying out high-low tasks Tasks, then this laptop is definitely for you. That's about it for this review. I hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to smash like and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any future videos. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.